Alright guys, this is a ballistic gel test of the, uh, uh, what are these called, Skenco Ultrashock hollow points. Look like this. Hollow point right there. And, uh, it's the skirt. But, uh, looking pretty good. I think this is going to perform really well for a hunting round. So, uh, shooting it out of a Beeman. I think this is a uh, 1200X. Um, shoots between 1,000 and 800 feet per second with a 22 pellet. Um, has interchangeable barrels. The other one rusted out a bit, so I'm using 22. But, uh, don't worry guys, this will be good. Alright guys, uh, set up the camera, set up the ballistic gel. Uh, we're gonna fire from about 10 feet or uh, 3 meters. This looks good. So, uh, hit top of the gel, see right here, straight across, uh, not too much expansion as far as I can tell, um, I'm going to do another test, try and get it dead center, so yeah, alright guys, second test of the, uh, Skenco Ultra Shock from 10 feet or 3 meters. Alright guys. Hit dead center. This one seemed to expand a little bit better. Um, the reason that happens is because it gets more dense in the center, I find. Um, but yeah, you can see the top one right here. Not too much expansion. Center one, though, we did get plenty of expansion. So I'm going to cut it open and show you what happened. Hey, guys. So uh, cut open the block. Trusty fillet knife. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, heated it up a little bit. Trusty heater. Um, as you can see, there's the track. It starts about right there. goes all along to right there. So, uh, I'll put the measurements in the description after this video. But, yeah. So, uh, that'll be track number one. This is the one at the top. Alright, guys. Pellet one, as you can see, did not expand very much. And, uh, had slightly more penetration than pellet two. Alright, guys. Pellet one, as you can see, did not expand very much. And, uh, had slightly more penetration than pellet two. Alright guys, here we are. You can see where it entered. It made a small trail. And final expansion point right there. And uh, you can see the temporary cavity was from here to here. Here's another look at the expansion cavity. About half an inch to three and four of an inch of, uh, from one side to the other. Alright guys, here you can see another part of that expansion. Here's pellet number two, with considerably more expansion, but not very much more than pellet number one right here. 